Hi, I'm Philip with RPM Amore. I'm here with Nguyen Lee, um, owner of a 1998 Acura Integra, but not just any Integra, it's a Type R, but there's something even a little bit more special about this car. Nguyen, I'll let you share a little bit about yourself and share lots about your car. Okay, so my name is Nguyen Lee. Uh, yes, I do own this car. It's actually not a Type R, but it's a, it's a DC4, it's an LS. Uh, manual. So it is a 1998. It's right here behind me. Here it is. And I'm actually in my Ricer garage. So you see all the pictures and stuff behind me and stuff. So I'm uh, very wildly obsessed with this car and how I built it the way I wanted it to be. <laughs> yeah, very cool. So, yeah. So, you know, it, it, this, this whole thing of building my car, it's, it's banded from since 1998. So it's been over 20 years, you know, like the thought process, designing this car and whatnot. So it's been quite a journey and it's kind of sped up uh, really fast in the last two years with social yeah. media and Instagram. Yeah. So it picked up a lot of traction and it's, it's been fun, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, that I still want to do to it, but mm -hmm. time is of the essence. <laughs> yeah. And I'm squeezed for time, you know, as we, as we get older now, right? It's just how it is, you know, life, we got to prioritize, right? And we try to keep the cars up at the top of the priorities, but it's hard sometimes. Right, right, right. So yeah. you said so, you've had it since new then, is that right? Um, no, I had this one uh, for since 2015, so it's been okay. seven years now. Okay. But the actual front end, the front clip that's called the Cali Type R, I've had mm -hmm. it since 2005. So it was originally on my first Integra that I had. Oh, that wow. car crashed. Yes, and this thing survived. <laughs> this thing survived. I saved it ever since, and then I got it restored, mm -hmm. and then put it on the newer one that I just got. Okay. And you said it's a DC4. So forgive my ignorance. I'm not a total Integra expert. Okay. Um, is that just referring to the later models of the third generation? Uh, Integra? So there's, there's a couple. Of, so there's a, G, there's a GSR and then there's mm -hmm. an LS, right? Mm -hmm. So they call, they call the LS a DC4, non v -tech. So oh, when they say oh. DC2, they're referring to the GSR VTEC version, which is uh, this bad boy right here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that's a yeah. whole nother conversation. He doesn't just this have one. He's got two. Conversation. So yeah. just to be, you know, kind of like correct, this is a DC2 VTEC version, right? Right. And this is an LS non-VTEC version, which they call a DC4. That's the chassis code. Right. Okay. And yes. is that... Is that still the standard motor that you have in there or you have a B-series in there now? It is. It is, it is a B18, B1. So okay. it is a stock motor in there. And that's just 140 horsepower compared to the 170 VTEC. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I, I aesthetically changed everything inside mm -hmm. the engine bay to look really shiny. It's kind of like a show car kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I can show you guys. I can show you guys in a bit once I yeah. pop the hood. Because you're a huge yeah. fan of the the top tuner era, the kind of late '90s, early 2000s, racer spec show scene. That's kind of your your <laughs> vibe, hey? That's that's my forte. I've always loved that era. I love the kind of like just the show aspect of it. I wasn't too much into the performance thing. That wasn't my thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just more of kind of like the aesthetic arrow and kind of like the show side of the scene. You yeah. know, and that's kind of like where I was at. And it it kind of started funny. I don't know if you read my um my article on Super Street, but it kind of explained everything, right? Mm -hmm. So it was like I wanted the car to look cool and fast, but, you know, not put any performance upgrades on there, if that makes any sense. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's cool that that's done intentionally in your case. Yeah. 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 That's so I did know. it. You know, I put like a whole bunch of, you know, funky stuff, even like what they have, a uh, Brembo plastic caps on the calipers. That was a big duty that basically everyone was just like, what are you doing? You know, but I didn't know where the build was going to go. And I wanted yeah. to do these things like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I had all these leftover parts from like 2005, 2008. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Once I picked this bad boy up in 2015, that's when I started to get everything out of the, you know, out of storage and yeah. then just kind of like throw it into this car. For you, it's just fun, right? It's it's kind of a lighthearted approach to it. You're not like super serious hitting the dyno, trying to hit crazy numbers and stuff. You're more just about playing around with the car and expressing yourself through it. Correct. Yeah. So it's more of like just a fun factor for me, um, you know, adding stuff to it, looking at it is like I said, it's more like a show car. Right. Mm -hmm. And I have fun doing it. And then some people, a lot of people, they they just don't accept my style. You know, they're just like, you know, it's a it's a waste of money. And then this yeah. era is done with. So, you know, why are we going backwards, you know, and whatnot? But, but you know what, man, you're sitting there in front of your car with a huge smile on your face. I can tell <laughs> you love it. It makes you happy. And that's what matters, right? Who, yeah. who cares yeah. what other people think, you know? Yeah. yeah. At, at the end of the day, it's, it's your car. You know, mm -hmm. you make it how you feel it is. Yeah. And basically, mm -hmm. whatever makes you happy, you do it mm -hmm. to the car, you know? And I've always had that mind focus even though other people would try to convince me otherwise like yeah. oh you shouldn't do that or you should do this I've always had this focus of what I wanted to do and yeah. it was a success because out of nowhere in 2021 mm -hmm. Super Street picked it up and then featured mm -hmm. the car so yeah. that was pretty awesome you know like it's That's not a fast car yeah it's, it's not a fast car but yeah Super Street interested yeah. in it you know yeah so that kind of blew my mind you know yeah. and then it the the response that it got from super street was mostly positive i would say 90 percent positive so it was kind of like a throwback thing for everyone you know yeah well honestly i think for a lot of people who are into japanese cars into tuner culture and that kind of thing when we think back on that heyday um it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure I think a lot of yeah. us are kind of like, oh, yeah, it's too rice, it's silly, whatever, it's it's passe, you know, but we also kind of still love it. <laughs> I think yeah. a lot of people hate to admit it, but you're out there, right. you're on the forefront going, I'm doing this, I'm not letting the, the ricer era die. Um, yeah. And I think that's why you're putting a smile on a lot of people's faces, because they're seeing you still embracing that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, I didn't. I didn't realize that 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 tuner community is it's it's a niche community, but it's still large, right? Yeah. And when I showcased the build on Instagram, like the whole crowd was backing up the build, right? And I, mm -hmm. I was just like, wow, you know, I'm just showcasing what I'm doing to the car, you know, whatever, whatever people want to think, great. But the mm -hmm. you know the the backing and the support for the build was absolutely amazing. I mean. It's been on Instagram now for two years and then the following just keeps coming, you know, it doesn't yeah. stop, you know, and I guess people are happy to see me do it everything in real time, uh, you know, talk about it, right? Mm -hmm. If I say something, it's going to go on. It's kind of like when I said, I'm doing the Lambo doors, everyone's like, no, you're not. And yeah. they came on. <laughs> yeah. And so through Instagram, it seems to me, because I've been following you for a little while, um, like since before you got the blue car. So I saw when you were revealing that and everything, um, you've kind of become a little bit of the, the expert, like the spokesperson for this California kit, right? Oh, yes. You're yes. like the man when it comes to Cali type R's. <laughs> and so we're calling it a type R. Is that because that's the name of the kit is California it's, it's type the R? It's the kit. Yes. Yeah, so... Okay. The name of the kit right here, it, you know, they, they dubbed it, they named it after they made it, they called it the California type R front end. Okay. Yeah. And then for short is the Cali type R front end. So that was, this was made by a shop out here in, you know, the California, the Bay area. Mm -hmm. Andy's auto sport was the shop that mm -hmm. developed this kit. Mm -hmm. And during the time, um the jdm front was too expensive in the late 90s right so we're talking about six seven thousand and it was really hard to get the jdm front yeah. so that's the reason why they they made this kit uh, it was like twelve dollars you know yeah, and yeah. it kind of made it look very jdm ish yeah and it was an alternative just in case you didn't have the seven thousand dollars to fork out right uh, so, okay that's all making sense. Yeah, because yeah, it, so, it is confusing because it's like the 
the standard Integra that we got here, known as the spider eyes, right? With the, yeah. the four round the headlights. Four, yeah, the bug yeah. Eyes. and then in Japan, the front end was the more rectangular headlights. And this Correct. mimics that, but those are not the same headlights, right? These are not the same headlights. So these headlights come from a 97 to 99 Acura CL. Hmm. So they took the headlights from that car, they made the bumper, and then they slapped it on. Yes. Right. Okay. And yes. they're mounted lower it seems is that just lower than the jdm rectangular ones or is it just i don't know they they just look low to me um there are they're they're kind of lower yeah the jdm i think is slightly higher hmm. but these are slightly lower than the the stock the bug eye one yes yeah yeah, yeah that's what i thought the okay. cool thing the cool thing that i like about this bumper is it's just the front end so i don't have to change the hood Mm. And then I don't have to change the fenders as well, right? Yeah. yeah. You basically, you take off the front end and then you slap it on and then you plug in the headlights. That's it. Right. right. Yeah. And so it's just that front bumper that defines it as the Cali kit? Because it looks like your Cali blue car, car has car the car same kit. bumper, I think. The blue, the blue car has the same exact bumper. I got lucky with the blue car. You know, it has the same exact bumper, the headlights, everything. So mm -hmm. there it is, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it yes, what defines the name of Cali Type R is basically the front end on the car. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I, you know, I personally, I mean, I've loved this bumper ever since it came out in 98, right? And mm -hmm. ever since two years ago on Instagram, I pushed the name really hard, you know, <laughs> so that people remember it. I mean, yeah. I don't even call this car an Integra, you know, I just say it's my Cali Type R, you know, right. and that has stuck into my audience mind, you know, that they, mm -hmm. they just when they see it, they go, oh, the Cali Type R, you know, yeah. they don't, they don't say Integra anymore, you know, yeah. so I'm really, I'm really happy that I was able to do that and actually give it kind of like its own identity, you know, mm -hmm. versus an, an extra Integra. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Well, it looks like a, a different car in a lot of ways, like to an untrained eye, you might glance at it and go, what, what is that? Right. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And we, we don't have that as much anymore. I mean, in that heyday, the body kits that everybody was fitting, they were either trying to make it look like another model or something different altogether. And it's like, you would look at, oh, that's a tuner car. What's underneath? <laughs> you know, you're kind of trying to figure it out. Right. But we don't really have that so much anymore. People put lip kits on and, you know, just lower yeah. and keep a more stock body generally. So it's kind of yeah. this funny sort of mystery game that that we've lost. But you're, you're keeping that yes. going. I guess a lot of people yeah. ask questions, hey? Yeah, so that era, it was all about headlight conversions, taillight conversions, you know, the crazy aero vents and all that. Yeah. And, you know, we don't see that often nowadays anymore. You know, it's not there. But you know that was my era i still love that era you know compared to what's out there nowadays so that's mm -hmm. the reason why i built this car the way it is you know just to yeah. kind of like keep that part of history you know because that's kind of like how it all started and then it has evolved in what it is today you yeah. know and a lot of people a lot of the new kids they don't know about the history of how you know the scene was mm -hmm. and this was basically how it was this is how it all started yeah and now it evolved in what it is today Although the average tuner car in that era was not nearly as clean as yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't That's... say my car is a hundred percent clean, but it's you know it's it, it's decent, yeah. you know, it's decent yeah. enough, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it looks it looks really good, especially in pictures. At least I'm sure it looks amazing in person too. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and you drive the thing, right? You you drive it to work and everything. I, I drive it to work, you know, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent. Uh, that's my job, you know, daytime job, full-time job. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, I showings, I just take this car to showing, you know, yeah. like I meet my client at the house and then sometimes they see, it, they're like, wow, that's a cool car. You, know? <laughs> they, they think you open like your Lambo door. door. <laughs> yeah. Lambo door. They think it's like some sort of exotic car, you know, because yeah. it doesn't look like an Integra anymore, you know, and it has all this weird arrow on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they just think like it's a very expensive exotic car. Mm -hmm. And then when they find out it's an Integra, they're like, you know, it just blows their mind. Yeah. Yeah. So the one wasn't enough. <laughs> one yeah. wasn't enough, you know, long story short. Um, you know, I, 
I, uh, the guy that sold me the blue one, I met him actually like, I think it was like two years ago or two or three years ago online. Mm -hmm. And I met him because he had the same front bumper as mine. Mm -hmm. His friend kind of like, you know, it's like, oh, that I know a guy, I have a friend that has that, that same bumper, you know, his car is ugly, you know, I hate that bumper. And then that's when he connected me with the guy, you know? And then I was like, wow, you know, like, so here's the, here's the car. So you guys yeah. can all see. So it's a custom wide body. It's yeah. way different than, than, than my white one because everything on it is like custom, you know, like yeah. the body panels, everything is, is crazy. Yeah. You know, so he, he had the car. And then at the time when I met him, he was like, oh, you know, like uh, I'm planning to sell the car. And, you know, I don't have time to work on it anymore. And then I was like, why, you know, like, why not just keep it as a piece of history, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, so I convinced him to keep it. And then a year later, a year later, I see it on uh, Facebook for sale. You know? yeah. Like, come to me first, man. <laughs> so a lot of guys were like, at the time, I didn't have space to buy it. I mean, I would have bought it at the time, if, you know, if I had space. So a lot of my friends tagged me in the post. They're like, dude, look at this. Look at this blue car. It has the same front bumper as yours. You know, like, you should check it out. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, hey, you know, why is this guy selling it? He told me he would keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Messaged him right away. I was like, hey, what's going on? You know, I thought you are going to keep the car. He's like, dude, I, I don't have time for it. I just want, you know, the money that I bought it for, which was like, he was asking for $3,000 <laughs> for the car. Oh, my God. And then I was like, okay. And, you know, and the, the cool thing about the car, it's, it's VTEC. It's a lot faster than this one. Mm -hmm. And he only, you know, he had um, 26,000 original miles on the motor, a 98 as well. What? For, for so $3, is that because it was, it was like a, a show spec car from the era and it, it was, just got kind of garage clean? He was the second owner. He was the second owner. The first owner was the one that did everything on the car. Mm -hmm. So, he bought it from that guy just the way it was and he never touched anything mm -hmm. and he only drove it for about seven thousand miles in 13 years <laughs> so it's been sitting in his garage just sitting you know not wow. driven not yeah not doing anything so i was like twenty six thousand miles on a 98 gsr motor that's ridiculous you know? yeah that's pretty hard to pass up and at three you, grand holy shit what, like three three grand i'm like you know it, and then I, I kind of just like sell it to me. You know, I have space for it now, right? So I was, he's like, yeah, if you want it, you can take it. So I just blindfoldly bought it. And then I had it shipped back to California for another $1,800. And then there it was in front of my garage, you know? Wow. <laughs> and at first I was like, oh man, it, need, it needs a lot of work. You know, it was missing mirrors. It was missing seats. The interior was gone. Hmm. It needed a lot of stuff, you know, but... I got it up and running and it's, it's fun. It's a fun car to drive. Like yes. I enjoy the blue one a lot more than this white one driving wise. So right. it's a lot quicker. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. But I guess we can get into a different story on, on this one later on sometime. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we'll talk about both today. The The primary feature, I guess, is on the white car. Cause that's the one that's, okay. It, it kind of defines you, I guess, you know, it's the, the yeah. car you're really known for the blues more recent acquisition, but um, so what's the plan? Are you holding on to both long-term? Is this? Um, yeah. I mean, for now, the white one, for sure. I'm going to keep um, if, you know, like I would love to keep this blue one as well, but if somebody gives me an offer, I can't refuse. I might, I might let it go because I might need the space in my garage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. There, you know, to having two of these toy cars just sitting and not really doing anything, it doesn't do me any help, you know? And then yeah. I need the space and then it's just sitting there, right? And if somebody's willing to offer me something that I can't refuse, I'd rather just let them enjoy it, you know? So you, you took so, in the stray so, though, you gave it a loving home and you fixed it up and now it's a lot oh, healthier. <laughs> yeah, it's it's man, it's very drivable now. It's in great condition now. I mean I you know, I cleaned it all up, you know, basically for the next, I guess the next owner, if somebody wants to buy it mm -hmm. for now, though, I guess I'm going to keep it until otherwise. I mean, that's kind of like people know me for having two of these yeah. of the same of the same type, the front bumper. So mm -hmm. for now, I'm going to keep it and then we'll see how it goes for this year. You know, I don't, 
I don't know. Yeah. 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 So here's a kind of question with the white car, you said the intent was to not build it from a performance perspective, just focus on aesthetics, make it a showpiece, that kind of thing. Fair enough. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but then you said the blue car is a lot more fun to drive. So is an engine swap <laughs> potentially in the future for the white car? If the blue one's going to go, what are you going to do with yeah. that? One? So I, you know, at first I was like, you know what, you know what I can do? I can swap the engine from the blue one into the white one, right? You and make this you one your yeah. car, yeah. you know? And then I'm like, yeah, I can do that. It'll cost some money for the swap and whatnot. And it's going to, I'm going to have to tinker with it. Or I can just add a turbo to this one and call it a day. Yeah, and you know, you know it doesn't get much more tuner era than that. You know, there were so many base models cruising around with turbos added at that time. Yeah, yeah, yes, that would be a good representation so, of the time. Yeah, yeah. So they back in the day they did a lot. So this one's called an LS, like I said earlier, right? So they mm. did a lot of LS turbos. So mm. they just slapped the turbo in here, and then that was kind of like what everyone did back then, you know? Right. Because they, I guess they couldn't afford the GSR one, so they just put a turbo in this one. Yeah. And that was the kind of thing to, to do, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking of that, you know, I've been talking to a couple of people and, you know, I, I guess a lot of bad influence from social media, <laughs> you know, people yeah. pushing me into that performance direction, you know? And I, you know, I thought about it. I was like, yeah, it'd be fun, but, I just got to have the right people lined up in order to do that kind of project, you know, and I know it's going to be a big project to put a turbo in this car, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you still like to drive it, you know, you don't want to compromise that for, for too long. You don't yeah. want to end up having it off the road or become much less reliable, you know, because turbos complicate things so much. Correct. Um, correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. I was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, like I said, all these years of me being in the car scene, I wasn't really too much into the racing performance side. Mm -hmm. It was just more of like the show side. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy the, with the way it is right now. I daily it. I don't have much issues right now. So I'm happy, you know, but, you know, I think the whole end game to this car would be to put a turbo in <laughs> that, sure. that was solidify like yes this car is the show and go you know it has everything that you know that that defines that era you know yeah 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 well, you cool. still you still take it to shows right too you do the show circuit um i took it to spocom last year mm -hmm. and um i try to get into another a couple more shows um but we'll see how it goes for this year i mean i take it out to a lot of meets and then but there's um I'm trying to get it into a lot of uh, I guess the big show the bigger shows like uh, Weekfest mm -hmm. and uh, maybe I guess HIN if they ever come back to the you know California yeah. so I want to get into the bigger shows to give you know give it more exposure mm -hmm. rather than just the smaller ones so we'll see how it goes this year yeah. and if uh, they let my car in because I know these shows nowadays they're very specific of what kind of car they want in their show now right yeah so when they see something like this it might not you know appeal to them like hey this is not going to bring us the crowd that we want you know yeah so we have to think twice about letting them in or not and that's what happened to week fest last year you know i applied i registered but i never got the call back you know so yeah. i guess they didn't want to show my car you know during that time just wave the super street article at them. Be like, hey, <laughs> I was good enough for them. <laughs> yeah. So what was that like? What's it like to be featured in super street? They come to you, you go to them. How does that work? It was, you know, it was a weird kind of like, um, it was kind of like a just out of the blue thing. Like I never imagined my car ever being in a big magazine like them. Mm -hmm. So it was like, um, I knew this photographer. I knew him for a couple of years. Um, we had planned to take photos of this car way back then, back mm -hmm. in like 2018. And then we kind of just kind of disconnected from each other. And then uh, back then, though, the car wasn't as nice as it was now. I mean, it was just body kit, stock height, stock wheels, everything. So it wasn't a, a showing like, like how it is now. Yeah. So, after I got all this done, then I hit him back up again. And then we linked back up. I was like, hey, yeah, you know, I just finished the car. I would like to take some professional pictures. You want to take them for me? He's like, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. 
So we did take, uh, we did do the photo shoot and then um, the photos came out great. I mean, like I, I'm pretty sure you saw the the night photos of the, of the car. Yeah. So, so at first he's like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do something for you. You know, I'm going to like pass these photos on, you know, to a couple of my superiors and see if they want to post it on their, on their website. Hmm. And he didn't tell me who they were. He just said, and then like, he gave me the photos. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I actually posted one photo the, the day after he gave it to me. And then he posted it on his website as well on his page too. Mm -hmm. And then after I posted it, he's like, take your photos down, you know, like, so, you know, they, they got a call back. Somebody wants to feature your car. And I'm like, what really? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, who is that? He's like, super street wants to feature your car yeah so the pictures got passed around and then they went you know through super streets desk mm -hmm. and i guess when they saw it they saw how amazing the, the pictures were they didn't want to just post the photos on their page but they're like no we want to do a full feature on this car you know and that's when it was just blowing my mind man yeah. <laughs> you know because the car is not fast but <laughs> it was I guess it appealed to, you know, something that, you know, Super Street was all about back yeah. in the late 90s when they first started, right? Yeah. So it was a shock to me. I was thrilled, you know. I didn't even know if it was going to happen or not. But then they picked it up and then we did some interior shots and engine bay shots and then they released it in 2021. Right. And it was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure if you specifically had to go to them for a photo shoot that was intended for the article, but it was more they picked up on that shoot. Correct, yes. So what's it like to drive? I mean, I know it's more or less stock, but I like yeah. to talk to people a lot about the driving experience with their cars and everything I feature on the website is is used. I, you know, like yeah. as much as your car is a show queen, it still appealed to me a lot for the website because um, you drive it, you use it, you daily it, right? Is it, are these yeah. two Integras your only cars or do you have a more practical? I, I have a work car, which is yeah. my Lexus. So okay. I drive that a lot when I travel far distances. Um, if it's kind of local, then I'll take these cars out, you know, but I daily, basically both of these cars all the time. Yeah, wow. so... I try to get, I try to drive it as much as possible, you know, just to enjoy them, right? I don't want them to just sit around in my garage doing nothing, right? Yeah. And they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun when I drive them around. Always turns heads, you know, always yeah. the thumbs up, you know, yeah. and then you know, a lot of times people are just like, wow, you know, they haven't seen this type of style for yeah. like decades, you know? So yeah. it, you know, it breaks a lot of necks when it's on the streets. Yeah. Do you take them up yeah. in the hills or anything like that? You're in California, right? Um, I've taken the blue one out in the hills one time, you know, um, and it was uh, it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't taken the white one out too much because I just don't want to get it like damaged or rock chips or anything like that. Fair <laughs> enough. It's immortalized yeah. now in a famous magazine, so it's yeah. you're preserving something there for sure. Yeah. yeah. The blue one, I'll take it anywhere. You know, if it gets damaged, I'm, I don't, I don't care too much for it. You know, I didn't spend too much money on that car. So, and it's like I said, it's a, it's a more fun car to drive because it does have that V tech. You know, yeah. so I think kicks in pretty hard. Yeah. 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 Well, that that's actually kind of the perfect combination. It's starting to make more sense now. What you've got in your garage, you've got you know <laughs> the immaculate showpiece there, and then you've got the car that's actually more fun to drive, has more performance, right. but also is less pristine. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel quite yeah. so stressed taking it out. Yeah. I I have a few options, so it's kind of like oh, when I go out to a meet, like mm -hmm. like which car do I I have an option to take this car or that car? You know, if it's gonna be out in the dirt road and I'll take a blue one you know mm -hmm. yeah. can you just give me a quick rundown the highlight parts that you got on the white car so um yes so arrow wise I don't know if you want me to do like a yeah, walk let's walk around it too. yeah yeah so arrow wise like this this is a very nice time capsule kind of car so we got mm -hmm. we got the front end here and these are these are um, JDM version black housing. So mm. these are the original chrome ones right here on the blue one. 
Yeah. Uh, there they are. You see that? Cool. Yeah. So yeah. these are original. And then these are basically from, I think they're from Japan. Mm. So they work a lot better with the look of how the car is white. Yeah. And I like them. Yeah. So they're cool. That looks great. California type bar front end. Uh, Andy's Auto Sport. Um, Acura CL headlights. Mm -hmm. And as we go by, so man, this car has a lot of time pieces on here. So yeah. what we have here is Racing Hearts T5 wheels. Awesome. My favorite wheels of all, all time have always been this. Hmm. I, I love this wheel so much that I have three sets of it now. <laughs> You've got them on the blue car too, right? Yeah, I have I have a white set on the blue one. They're identical. So yeah. this one is white and then this one is silver. So and then I was able to source one. I went to the junkyard. I got uh, the same set, but the JDM three piece version. So which is way cooler. I mean, like yeah. that yeah. was the legit wheel. This came afterwards, so it's still a nice wheel, but the JDM ones, of course, they're more superior because they're the original ones. Yeah. Yeah. And real yeah. wheelwood brakes. We talked about the plastic real. brakes. But... Yeah. So I, I got a lot of criticism for those Brembo caps for the past year and a half. So a buddy of mine finally convinced me, like, man, you know, your car made it into a magazine. You know, it's time to go legit, you know, like. You need to evolve the car. You know? <laughs> so, is it in Super Street with the plastic caps? It is. It is oh, in man, Super that's Street hilarious. with the plastic caps. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> and I even named oh. those parts out in the in the in the feature, you know. So they even said Brembo caps on there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the parts list. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so these are real Wheelwood uh, mm -hmm. big brake kit. And we got the cross drill slotted rotors in here too. So it's a complete. And I went to the extra step. I got the rear, uh, the rear set too. So it's a it's a package, a full package. Nice. The front and back. Yeah. Usually people don't do the rears on uh, yeah. on Civics and Integras, but you know, I decided to go all the way and get the full set. So yeah, it has both the front and the back now, which is cool. You know, awesome. I, yeah, I can feel the difference. Um, Ricardo got, in there. Yes, Ricardo. See, so this is my other favorite mod right here, the Bomb X mirrors right here. Mm -hmm. So these are the Bomb X Aero mirrors. Very hard to get. It mm -hmm. took me about two years to source this guy, and I got lucky because these are electronic version. So oh, they wow. actually move. Yeah, they oh. actually move with with the electronic stock feature, which is awesome, man. These mirrors, I mean, they round off the whole car and how the car looks. So mm -hmm. these were a must for sure. Yeah. Um, they go perfectly with the aesthetic. Yeah. This mod was my favorite one that costs a lot of money right here. Mm. The MR2 vent. Right. These are actual real MR2 vents taken from an MR2. Yeah. They were cut and they were grafted onto the car right here. Wow. Yes. That's great. Yeah, so. This uh, this one mod is a one-off. Nobody does these things nowadays because it just costs too much money. Mm -hmm. But I figured I had to do it because that was something I liked. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's... Definitely that adds to the exotic like. look, for sure. Yes. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I have... Where is it? Let me see. Uh, six inch exhaust, Let's massive see. can on there. Yeah, yeah, you guys see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it right here. Yeah, I'll show so, it better in pictures. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. And then we got the Kaminari wing, mm -hmm. this is very period correct, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it rounds off the whole body and the whole look of the car. And then as we go inside, Recaro seats, JDM. Ricaro SR3 seats. Is that a so real Type got, R steering wheel too? It is, yes. Yeah. So that's the JDM Momo one. Yeah, it has a custom uh, custom wrap on top in carbon fiber. Cool. So look at this carbon fiber headliner. Oh, wow. Right yes. Wow. This is that's very cool. wild. It took me a while to find this piece, but it, it took me a while to install it as well. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, but uh, that's pretty oh, that cool. So cool. Everything has been swapped out in this car. I mean, I got that carbon fiber in the back, um, yeah. trunk uh, hatch cover as well. So, man, if we're you running got a out crazy of time, stereo here. going on with it too. Uh, for now, it's just a double din deck, so it's nothing, yeah. uh, nothing too crazy for now. But yeah, probably figure out something major in the future for the sound system. Yeah. And then I'll let you guys see the engine bay. Wow. So there it is. So clean. This, uh, it needs a lot of cleaning up. There's a lot of wires that need to kind of be tucked away. But yeah, this is what, you know, excites a lot of people when, you know, when they see the car, they like to see all the stuff I did in the, in the engine bay. And yeah. it's kind of crazy that everything you see here is kind of like all stock, you know, yeah. besides the intake and the manifold and the everything else is basically stock yeah so everything is carb legal so so as you see here so you got the sticker for the manifold oh cool i got the sticker for the intake yeah. where is it at right here thanks so much for sharing so much about the car taking us for a walk around um, we'll share lots of really cool pictures on the website and in amongst the video here so there's lots to see um, any final words, anything else you want to share? Um, just that, you know, I'm not going to stop with these cars, you know. <laughs> right I'm going to continue on, you know, with the style I love. And, and you know, nobody's going to convince me otherwise. But, yeah, possibly, like I said, the end game for this guy will be a sound system. Mm -hmm. And then a possible turbo in the future, you know. And that will kind of just wrap everything full circle yeah. for the car you know Full package totally yeah that's yeah. awesome okay well thanks again for your time i can't wait to get your car up on the website it's been a real pleasure um yeah your car is amazing both your cars are amazing um and i really do hope that uh all of those dreams come true and it becomes the <laughs> whole package <laughs> i'm sure it will it's just a matter of time right for sure okay hey thanks a lot for uh taking your time to interview the rice you know and coming <laughs> into my garage of course uh looking forward to seeing you know what you got posted for it and yeah. uh hopefully we'll catch you next time once i got more stuff added onto the car right on we'll check in later thank you take care all right good thanks philip right